I've been trying to make this mini jet boat for a while, a lightweight boat that one person can carry, get into real small rivers and stuff like that. I've decided to go electric with a great power to weight ratio. Also, it'll be silent. This is the second part of this build. Let's get into it. I finally got my 48 volt battery made up. Liam made it for me. Here's a clip of him. Okay, so this is Liam. He's the young guy that's uh, built my battery. Here's my one for the uh, electric jet boat. So he's got a whole heap of little cells and he's welding them up here in his bedroom, building batteries for everybody. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Crazy. And then it just holds them all together. I've finally got all my parts so I can put this little jet boat together. Anybody's got one of these things and it won't run off the controller. You need to power it with a battery. I just used one of these cells. So let's hook some stuff up a bit more properly. Little bearings. There we go, I've got those wires joined, I've got plugs on, a plug for each controller. This is how these plugs work, the guy that gave me the motor gave me a bunch of these, thanks Bruce. So you just crimp your wire in there, shove that inside there and it gets stuck and works as a plug, it's pretty cool. Alright, here we go. Yes! That's good, nothing got melted and I didn't get electrocuted. So I'll show you how I've got this wired up. I don't really know what I'm doing, but nobody really explains this stuff so well. So you get the DC wires, they split off. One goes to each controller, plus and minus obviously. This little switch on each controller turns the controller on, I'm guessing. Then these here, each one's got a signal wire, and you can put each signal wire to the outside of the servo controller. So these pins all must do the same thing. And then over here you've got your power in for the servo controller, you've got plus minus which runs back to the 18650 cell that's powering this. And then out of here come the three phase wires to each motor. Next thing I need to start finishing off some of the welding and pos positioning everything better. So I've got my box sorted out where all my electronics are going to go, the motor's mount in there and I'll just put a Perspex lid on top so I can keep an eye on everything and keep everything dry. got the plate underneath the jet unit so they don't get smashed off by a rock or something, also to keep the nozzles out of the water, they work more efficient when they're not in the water. I want to weld it off but it's so hot today I might wait till uh, night time. <laughs> We've got one of them in. I've got silicon everywhere, mostly on my hands. I've got some of it on here though, so hopefully it doesn't leak. Just got to put the other one in, wait for it to dry, and then we're almost ready to test if it can squirt some water. Yay. Okay, I took apart the uh, servo controller and uh, put it in here. Check that out. Oh, yeah. Even did a 3D drawing and animated it for you guys. Pretty high tech, really. Soldered these wires on here. I made this super sweet jet boat pond but uh, it's not working so good, it's just leaking. It's just raining and windy constantly today.
move some water. That one's slightly warm. I'm gonna have to put a seal in there. Just going straight through the bearing. Right here. All right, the rain's coming pretty hard. I got a little bit of water on the motors from the rain. There's a bit in the boat, but set the motors out. Hopefully they dry out, they'll be all right. Just check these impellers. This is the good thing about this little jet design. You can just screw these off and clear it. Yeah, they seem fine. I think maybe they are uh, not aggressive enough because the motors didn't sound like they were that loaded up. A little bit of rub in there, but it'll self-clear. I've ordered the seals for the jet units. Made these sweet nozzles this time. And let's hook up some steering, man. Look at that beautiful pulley. But I need one off the other side. Hurry up, printer! I think the steering wheel needs to go right about here. Let's start making some stuff. Okay, I 3D printed this, the print failed halfway through but it's enough for a mock-up. I folded up this little plate here that this is going to sit into. I've even made little reference lines so I know where to drill it. Alright, that's how that's going to go. So I'll probably sit it around here. I need to print a boss for here and then the other boss down here so the rope can run over here. So a bit more time on the computer drawing stuff up and printing. I've only got that rope wrapped around there to show you guys how it works but I'll print something better a bit bigger diameter too because it's a bit too low geared but yeah simple steering setup works so the reverse bucky is another thing I need to fit I've printed one of them out that'll just stay up like that and there'll be a lever with a over center mechanism flops it down then the thrust will be directed back underneath the boat so you can back up but I need one for each. I could almost take this for a test ride right now, but it's uh, pouring with rain still. Bit more work to do. If you guys want these jet units, I've been selling heaps of them on my CG trailer, they're about $3 each. Any of the other 3D printed parts you guys want, just let me know and I'll add them up on CG Trader for free. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.